I get asked a ton of questions about just about every aspect of a 3800 supercharged Fiero build. Recently, I redid my main belt tensioner slash dog bone mount assembly, and I thought you might be interested, and this might help people out that are working on theirs. If you did your own swap of a 3800 supercharged into your Fiero, you might have things you're proud of, and maybe things you wish you had done differently. Well, for me, the main belt tensioner is just one of those things. I was on a budget when I did the swap, and I carved that out of the stock water pump or cover or whatever for the 3800, and made it work, and it's worked really well for about seven or eight years, but it kind of looks like crap, and if it ever fails, Good luck for someone trying to recreate that because that was kind of a major undertaking. What I'm going to use for the main belt tensioner is this unit here, which is just a stock C5 Corvette tensioner. And the cool thing is it's small, it's lightweight. And again, if this one ever fails, somebody can just get a new part and it comes in right around $55. So let's get started by removing the belt and this custom rig tensioner. And then we'll figure out exactly how we're going to fit this to it. Toys for life. First step, we're going to go ahead and remove the passenger side grill. Then using a 15 millimeter, I'll remove the tension from the belt and slide it off of the main pulley. Then I'm going to reach down low and slide it off of the water pump pulley but don't let go of the belt. Make sure you keep tension and hook up a bungee cord so that you can take the bungee cord and strap it to something, keeping tension on the belt. That way it stays on all the other pulleys and idlers that it wraps around, making it much easier when it comes time to reinstall it. Now we're going to remove the bolts from this custom-made kind of crappy belt tensioner assembly. There's just two holding it in place. Now you can take a look, and isn't it a beauty? And the one on the right will be the new one off the C5, which someone will be able to replace if they need to. Plus it's just smaller, lighter, and looks better. Next I'll remove the bolt that connects the dog bone to the engine, and then pry it up out of the way. So I'm thinking this is gonna sit in this bracket about like that. Has to go down closer, get this hole here to bolt into this one, I've got to remove this bracket here, it's no longer needed, and then grind a little U in this to make room for this right here. So let's take this bracket off and get it on the bench. And it's just held in place by two fairly substantial bolts. Looks a little haphazard, but this thing's been on here for eight years and it hasn't broken, bent, or cracked. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit of footage, but I ground out in the bracket so the new tensioner would bolt on, and now I put it back in for a test fit. Well, that's not going to work. Here's our trial fitting, and as you can see, the pulley is too close to the supercharger snout, so if I flex it to uh, put the belt on, it's definitely going to hit. So I'm going to have to cut and shorten it a little bit right down here. So let's take it back out to the bench and see if we can take out like an inch or so. All right, we've got it on the chop saw where we're gonna slice out about one inch of material. One inch has been removed. I've got this tack welded so you can see. And uh, here's the piece we cut out. And of course, we'll just kind of test fit the tensioner and we'll have to drill a hole when we're done welding. Welding is complete. It's not pretty, but it'll hold. Got the tensioner test fitted back on and I'm not satisfied with how rigid it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an additional bracket which will significantly stiffen it up. Got it cut out in place, ready for welding. You can probably tell by the sound that my wire speed is too slow, and that'll affect the look of the weld and the quality of the weld. I really need to get the welder out more. And there it is. It's not pretty, but it's absolutely going to work. We'll get a coat of black paint on here, and hopefully That'll dress it up. Well, that looks a lot nicer. I even took the tensioner and polished that up a little bit. Got some fresh bolts. It's time to put this thing back in. 
Notice how my custom bracket wraps around the stock aluminum dog bone mount that bolts to the head. It gets a lot of its strength from utilizing two of those main bolts that screw into the head. And then I've added one on the back side to uh, further attach the custom bracket to the aluminum mount. Now it's just a matter of reinstalling the three bolts that attach the custom bracket over the stock aluminum dog bone mount. And of course, be sure to snug them down firmly. Then we'll go ahead, put the belt over the tensioner pulley, then compress the pulley while we slide the belt over the water pump pulley. And then release the tension. Now I've lucked out, it's late December in Minnesota and the roads are actually kind of dry right now. So I'm gonna take advantage of this afternoon to just go for a spin and get this thing up to 6,000 RPMs a few times. That way next spring, when I wanna take this thing out and really have some fun, I don't have any unforeseen issues. clarify a couple of things. Back when I did my swap over eight plus years ago, I had a lot more time on my hands and obviously a lot less knowledge about 3800 supercharged swaps. If I was starting a 3800 supercharged swap today from scratch, I would seriously consider purchasing the three lower engine mounts and the combination dog bone bracket slash tensioner mount from a guy named Fiero Raj. Here's his Facebook page, and as you can see, he's got the various parts that he's got for sale. And over the past few years, I've heard nothing but good things about Fiero Raj parts. He's even endorsed on the Rodney Dickman parts page, which is quite an endorsement. And in case you're wondering, here's a closer look of the Fiero Raj dog bone bracket slash tensioner assembly installed on a 3800. Now in my situation, I made all of the mounts for my supercharged swap out of scrap metal that I had laying around the shop because I pretty much liked the challenge. And like I said, I had a lot of time on my hands back then. But if you're not sure of your abilities or you're short on time or you just want a proven engine mount system, then by all means, go with the Fiero Raj setup. Now, back to the video. Well, this cold air is really good for horsepower but not so good for traction. Well, I had a few blasts up to like six grand, so if the belt didn't fall off there and there's no other issues, I think we're good to go. Guys, that's a wrap on this one. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.